So let me just do a practice problem here. Um, and this is going to be a PDF that doesn't have like a nice um, name. It's just going to be one that I made up. So let's suppose this is equal to uh, 2 ninths x minus 1 when x is between 1 and 4 and 0 otherwise. So first of all, how do I even know that this is a PDF? I really should check. So let me just check that the integral integrates to 1. And by the way, this is like a common kind of trick question where sometimes I might say, okay, here, I don't tell you the constant. Figure out the constant here such that this is a valid PDF. This is kind of the same kind of problem. So, all right, let's just do the integral. Well, I'm going to have 1 9 x minus 1 squared from x equals 4 to x equals 1. I guess that, you know, I really should convert these integrals like this because I know it's 0 outside those boundaries, right? So I got 1 9th times uh, 3 minus 1 squared is 9 minus 1 minus 1 squared is 0, so I get 1. Okay, so I wasn't lying. This is, in fact, a PDF. So now let's figure out what is the expected value of this random variable. So what is the expected value of x? Well, I've got to integrate the value times the PDF and integrate that. So here, this is like saying I have from 1 to 4 x times 2 ninths x minus 1 dx. Nothing to do for it but to actually compute the integral. So I'm going to make this a little bit easier. This is 2 ninths x squared minus 2 ninths x dx, which is equal to 2 over 27 x cubed minus 1 ninths x squared. Evaluate that from x equals 4 to x equals 1. So I get 2 27 of uh, 4 cubed is 64 minus 1 ninth times 16 minus 2 27 times 1 plus 1 ninth times whatever this is. Now if I was really excited about you know solving this what I would find is that this all adds up to 3. I mean I could do it but I don't really want to. Basically, that would be the process I would take to actually work out the number. Um, so let's talk about the uh, variance. Okay, the variance is going to be a little bit messier. The variance of x is going to be, well, there are two ways I can think about it. Either I can think about it like the expected value of x minus 3 squared, right? That's the definition. Or I could think about like the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared, which is 9. So I think that, you know, this is probably a little bit easier to do. So let me compute the expected value of x squared. Well, again, it's going to look like this. Here's the PDF. So now I've got this integral, 2 ninths x cubed minus 2 ninths x squared dx, which is 2 over 36x to the fourth minus 2 over 27 x cubed evaluated from x equals 4 to x equals 1. So again, I would get uh, 236 times 256 minus 227 times uh, 4 cubed is 64 minus 236 plus 227. I'd work all that out and I could get the answer which I'm cheating to tell you is 19 over 2. So now I would say, okay, that means that the variance of x is 19 over 2 minus 9, which is just a half, right? So I don't think it's important for me to do algebra, and that's not that exciting to watch, but you get the sense of what the process is like. So let's do something a little bit more tricky. What if I want to know what is the expected value of e to the x minus 1 squared. That looks like a real mess. But I've constructed the problem in a way that this is actually not that bad. So again, I take whatever the function is, e to the x minus 1 squared, 
and then I take the PDF, which is, um, again, if I'm going to just take this from 1 to 4, the PDF is 2 ninths x minus 1 dx. Now I say, oh, actually, this worked out okay, right? Because this is exactly, this 2x minus 1 is exactly what I need to take the derivative here. This is just going to be 1 ninth e to the x minus 1 squared evaluated at x equals 4, x equals 1, right? You should be able to convince yourself that if I take the derivative of this, I get exactly this thing up here. So a little bit of a trick question. Um, so that means I have 1 ninth e to the 3 minus 1 cubed is 9 minus e to the 0 is 1, and then I can compute whatever this number is. Turns out to be about 900. Okay. So, you know, keep in mind that if you see a problem on a homework, uh, it may be a little bit tedious. If you see a problem on an exam, it's probably not so hard. I mean, an exam problem is something that you should be able to do in five minutes. So I, I would never throw an integral at you that was like some sort of a crazy integral. So hopefully this gives you some sense of what the process is like in computing these expected values.